Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Tibbs again. I have another story for us to read together. This story is called Squirrels Who Squabbled. It's a great story to practice our S sounds, um, to talk about emotions that the characters are feeling, and I'll ask a lot of questions throughout so you can practice making predictions about what's gonna happen next and what everyone is thinking in the story. Okay, let's get started. The squirrels who squabbled. Squabbled. That's a funny word. What do you think squabbled means? Do you think they're feeling happy? Doesn't look like it. I see a frown and some angry eyebrows. Maybe squabbled is kind of like fighting. In a towering forest where summer had been, the leaves turned to gold as a cold wind blew in. And as autumn arrived with the sky raging red, the sleepiest creatures got ready for bed. While up in a tree swung a flighty young squirrel who everyone knew as Spontaneous Cyril. There he is. What is the squirrel doing? What does the forest look like? What are these birds doing? I see the changing leaves. The forest is beautiful. Now, most foresty folk had seen to their needs through plentiful months of mushrooms and seeds. They'd built up their stores so they'd all be well fed through the frosting of winter that glittered ahead. All of these animals got their food ready. They are carrying the mushroom. They are carrying the seeds. But Searle, he lived in the here and the now. He'd adventured and partied his way through the year. His cupboard, what do you notice? His cupboard is empty. Oh no, how do you think he feels? But wait, what was that? Over there, take a look. A single pine cone wedged in a nook. He squealed with delight and for very good reason, for inside were the very last nuts of the season. <gasps> Here he is. He sees the acorn. What do you think he's thinking? I think he's feeling excited about finding food. He wasn't alone. There were plenty more hungry eyes. Yes, plan ahead Bruce had his sights on the prize. There's another squirrel. His name is Bruce. He wants the acorn too. They are both looking for the acorn. He has a lot of food, but he wants more. I see both squirrels running up the tree to get the acorn. <gasps> Who do you think will get it? Cyril or Bruce? Where are they going? Hmm. Their panic and haste shook the tips of the spruce and the pine coat. It trembled and then... <gasps> It came loose. What happened? The pine cone is falling. <gasps> How do you think they feel? Both squirrels gave a chase at a lightning pace. This was the start of a wild, nutty race. Where is the pine cone going? Who do you see behind the trees? 
Do the squirrels see the animal behind the trees? It's mine! No, it's mine! You don't stand a chance. Give up. It's no use. I'm hungry. This isn't yours. It's mine. Stay back. <gasps> what are they doing? It boinged over bushes and flew through the air. It binged on the nose of a slumbering bear. Hmm. What do you think will happen next? What is that bear doing? Slumbering? That's a funny word. What does slumbering mean? Uh-oh, what's going to happen? <gasps> oh no! It teetered and it wobbled and it quivered and <gasps> oh no, what do you think's gonna happen next? Do you think they know who is coming? Who is coming? How do you think this bear feels? Why does he feel that way? He got woken up. <gasps> Oh no, where is the pine cone going? Plop! <gasps> Both squirrels followed. Oh, the water was fast. Would they learn that they needed each other at last? Uh-oh, what's gonna happen next? Who is coming? Each was intent on how he could win, so they didn't quite notice a bird swooping in. <gasps> they watched in dismay as the bird took the acorn up, up, and away. <gasps> they drifted on the river. What's up ahead? <gasps> Where are they going? Over the edge. How do you think the squirrels feel? Look at their face. Ah. Where are they? Bruised and beraggled, they swept past dry land. Cyril grabbed at a branch with a trembling hand. Catching Bruce with the other, he heaved and he huffed. And he pulled him to safety with panting and puffs. They dragged themselves up with sputtering wiggles. Then Bruce looked at Cyril and... Hmm. Are they fighting still? They are helping each other. How do they feel in this picture? Look. Looks like they feel exhausted. They exploded in giggles. They are not fighting anymore. How silly are we? He managed to mutter. How greedy I've been, he proclaimed with a splutter. We shall change from today. May the squabbling cease. We should celebrate, seeing we're both in one piece. How do they feel now? They are not fighting. They feel grateful to be alive. They helped each other. And so they feel like they have a good friend. From that day forward, they made a great pair. They would gather together and they found that they could share. Who do you see around the table? How does everyone feel when they're sharing their food? 
Yes, Cyril and Bruce, they knew in the end. The best thing to share was a laugh with your friend. That was a really silly story. So if you want to watch this video again, answer the questions, um, practice your S sounds some more, and then maybe you can tell this story back to me. Film, film yourself telling the story about the squirrels who squabbled and you can send it to me so that I can, um, I can see you telling the story. Okay, good luck.